Hi folks, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing focusing on art again. I did another video where I was doing using resin and I didn't want the resin to go to waste. So we are going to use the last bit of resin on this new thing that I was going to try is make light switch uh, covers. So we are going to see what we can do with light switch covers with the colors that I had before, before the resin goes bad. So this is going to be another video with the same colors and we're going to add a little bit extra. So we're going to try it out. Now, you know that we, so we had orange before, if you watched the other video, we were just going to pour, well, let's just do orange and black. So we'll pour a little bit of orange in it now. And you can see the, when resin starts getting warm, that's when you know you got to use it and it's going to stop moving as much. So we're going to take our clear and we're going to pour, pour it in. And it is getting really toasty. So and we're going to take this big black here and we're going to mix it up the best we can. We're going to just do, when you do them, let's put it right here so you can see better. Um, in case you didn't see the other episode, um, you just drop a few drops like that. You could probably, went, I could have went less. And then you take any stir stick black. It's just going to absorb all the color. So we're just going to use a used one here and we're going to mix it up. Be careful when you're using the used ones because uh, it will, resin will take that color. And you just keep mixing until you're satisfied with that color. Um, and this is really warm, so the bubbles are pretty much out of it. And it's going to be more smoother because it's the catalyst is already um, really defined. So we're going to mix this with this one because we're going to do orange and black. So we're going to pour the black over it, just like so. And then we are going to take our little, and we're going to do a swirl. We're going to do a swirl, folks. We're just going to swirl it. We're going to fill in the gaps, but we're swirling it. We're just going to swirl. So we don't see it, but it's going to be on the other side. And that's, and that's the side that matters. So we're just going to swirl it. Okay, we're just going to swirl it. We're going to swirl it in here, we're going to swirl it over here, and we're just going to swirl it. Alright, then we're going to pour that black again right over it. Just right over until we fill it up. Until we fill it up. And not too much because we don't want to, we don't want to go over. We don't want to go over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this because we're just going to go like this just gonna go like this we're just going to push it off because we don't want it because we're gonna have to pop those out so we just want to do that so it's nice and level and that one's done so we're doing that one's gonna be a black light switch and we're going to do a socket here with kind of the same concept because we still have some more orange so we're gonna we're gonna pour more of that orange we're gonna do more of it this time we're gonna try to use all of it up And we are going to take the black again, and we are going to fill it up. And we're probably going to have to make a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to we're going to make it a little bit more, folks. And I think we have it right here, and we have the black, and we just pour that resin in because we're going to use more black because I think I think for black wise I think um can't go wrong for a light switch light cover um and you just use a couple drops like so I'm gonna put that aside and we're going to take our stir stick again and we're going to stir it up now, because I don't have a vacuum seal um, to pull out all the air, I have to use a lighter and um, to periodically check it um, to make sure that there's no bubbles. But I'm less concerned with this because these are the bubbles would be on this side, so the bubbles will be all right here. And if it is a light switch, that's all going to be on the back side, so we aren't even going to see that. So. We mixed in our colors so the, the way we want it to go, and we're going to pour it in. We're just going to, we're just going to pour it over. All right. Then you're going to, you're going to swirl it. 
and swirl those colors because we want it to we want the black and orange to merge not just be a solid and you can see how it pops up a little bit and that's what we want we want to just bring that orange um and the black to swirl around together and kind of create a interesting texture and we're going to find out um after this dries and this dries in about 24 hours you see the little bubbles when you swirl it um, but we will take care of that and that looks it looks level so now that we have some other colors so let's see what else we have here to work with i think what we'll want to do we do have um a lot of purple um let's just use all this purple here and then we'll and purple's really hot Whew, it's actually burning my hand a little bit and then we'll go here and we'll do this and it's not enough to finish it but we'll add some other colors to that real quick but this is really warm so she is she's definitely ready to settle and then there you go the cup is empty and we'll do that and then see here i don't know if i have any extra colors left and i don't so we're going to take a blank cup here i don't know if i want um that purple and um black together so what we'll do is we'll put our cup here and i think we have enough right here to and i don't want orange in it either i'm thinking purple and maybe a bluish color you know i think that might right about here i'm not i didn't take any art schools i didn't go that path so my coloring might not go together as, as someone else might know like those two colors don't go together um sorry just if they don't go together i do apologize and then you mix them up and then you mix them up just get the color that you're looking for and then just mix it up just mix it up wear gloves when you're doing this folks because your hands you do not want resin on your hands whether you're using um there are different variations of resin there's different qualities of resins some people make tables some people i like to make art with mine so i really i do a lot of like art paintings with my resin let's use this because i want to I want to see how it's already clumpy because it's so it's so hot it's ready to to take shape so we gotta we gotta actually work a little faster here and then we'll pour this one on top like so to fill in all the gaps we might need more or we're gonna use a little bit of the clear. So we're gonna find out what we need in a second here. And sometimes I use my stir stick to grab, just make sure you don't, you know, get your, your other art, mix them up. So then we're gonna kind of, it's gonna be a little harder to swirl because that one is more chunky now, as you can tell. It doesn't want to do that because it's so warm and it's so ready um, to take shape and harden. So we're just gonna kind of wiggle ourselves around and kind of kind of make ourselves a little annoying to it. But resin levels itself out um, automatically, which is really cool. Right, we're just gonna do that, and we're just gonna do that, and then I'm thinking um, to finish that one off. We're actually just gonna add a little bit of clear. Yeah, just a little bit of clear, just to just to help guide it. There we go. And it does look like there's too much in some areas. So what we will do is use this thing here and slide it. There we go. And that should be golden. 
And then that's going to have uh, an interesting uh, layer on it. Um, so that one's done. We do have a little bit more. Um, looks like we can do just a little bit more of that black that we had. Might as well just use the rest of it. We'll do halfway there. We'll do, I think we have a little bit more of that, this blue here that we have. Let's just do a hodgepodge of colors. I don't really want it to be see-through because um, you this is a wall socket. And typically people are trying to cover up like either blemishes or your paint. So we're gonna swirl in that corner just to give that corner a little, a little art style, a little art style. And then we're gonna take this green that we had left over from the other one. And we're gonna we're gonna put it in that corner. Just we're gonna make this one just a unique uh, little little flair to it. You know, just a little a little happiness. And you know what? We'll go with that color too. I don't like the waste resin, so when I am doing an art project, I do like to use all that I have. Um, it makes me feel better if I'm, if I'm not wasteful. You know, like you're making art, you might as well you might as well do something fun. You know, so I like to make molds, um, and you'll you'll start to see that with more of. Um, I'm gonna try to roll out more of that in this channel. Um, thank you for watching. If you're new to this, if you've never seen this before, because you've only watched random, uh, mystery openings or something. Um, I, I look at it as we are all completely random and this is just one little hobby that I picked up. And it kind of makes it look like fire. Um, it's, it's interesting that we also just try to learn something new. I, I really do like learning things that are new and exciting. So what we're going to do, so just you know, um, resin doesn't stick onto silicone and then plastics it can peel off of. So for instance, let's get that rest. Yeah, resin sticks to a lot of stuff. It doesn't stick to silicone. That's what these molds are made out of. So if you want to make your own personal mold, silicone is the way to go. And it doesn't, st and it sticks to, it will stick to anything else. You can mold it to it. As long as it's silicone, you shouldn't have a problem. All right, and then we are going to use, you can see that this one, it's already almost done, and the black. Now we'll just pour the last remaining of the black on top. And then we're going to seal it with our little guy here. And we're just going to kind of, I don't want to go too much. There we go, that should be enough. And we're going to, just because of bubbles, we are going to use our lighter and we are going to burn any of the bubbles off. And we're gonna take our time. Just get those bubbles off. Now this will be in the back. Um, so if there are some bubbles on these, it's not the it's not the end of the world. So if you are doing this at home and you did mix your fifth, this is a 50-50 resin. Um, if you did do this and you are trying it out at home, just know that if it's in the back, it's not really gonna matter much. Like no one's gonna see this and it's gonna be, for these, these are gonna be on the wall. We are trying to burn away the bubbles. And we're gonna finish off this last one here.
All right, we um, have done one good pass through. I'll probably give it one more pass a little later, um, but that's it. And then uh, we will open it probably a day or two. We'll let them cool, let them dry, and then we'll pop them out together and take a look at it. All right, we let it set for a few days and now it's ready. Um, we're gonna pop them open and kind of see what we got. We're gonna go with this one first. The silicone mold should be pretty easy to pop out, which we just slightly pop, kind of give it a nice little push, kind of, you know, work it, work it a little bit, nice and slow. So the first time we've done one of these, All right, there it is. I'll have to clean this up a little bit. Maybe take a little razor and then pop out the holes. But uh, what does everyone think of the, the colors? So this is the black that we did, and this was the last one we did. So I'm kind of went out of order. So this wasn't the first one. This was the leftover ones that we, we tried to pour in where this was the orange that we did. And it's kind of see-through. You can kind of see some of the see-throughness. And there's the blue. Um, and then this side was all the black. And so, yeah, I just need to trim this up a little bit. But it's hard enough so i think uh this is gonna be a nice little piece for if someone wanted to make their own um if you want to make your own sockets covers if you want to make your own socket covers this is going to be really cool i'm going to make a bunch of these so i'll start making some and if anyone puts in comments what colors you think would be kind of cool for me to make let me know in the comments below all right so this one this one turned out really nice all right we're gonna we're gonna take this one. This is the one where we poured the all the um, orange. Remember we did the orange inside? So we're gonna pop this one out. And then I just need to take a little razor, just trim it on the sides just to clean it up. Look at that, folks. Remember how I, look at that orange. Kind of looks fiery and in the black. Very smooth, very smooth. And um, there's the screw holes where you can screw in to your fixture. And this would be your wall mount. This would be your cover faceplate. Um, just needs to, to cover up your sockets, your light switches. That one, that one is a home run, I think. I think that's a really cool one. All right, now we're going to pop this one out. This one was kind of like the same style. Um... We're going to take it on this side. We're going to just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay. Very smooth. So it's it's done. The resin is hardened perfectly. Um, what do you think of this one, folks? Which one do you like better? Um, this one has a little glob of ink. You see how it globbed a little bit, but completely smooth. And it doesn't look like this one. That's the back side. Doesn't have much cleanup. I don't... This one is really a really good piece and then here's that blue and purple one and you always get that you know you have a little bit of extra stuff on there so let's pull that one right there and then we're gonna peel this one off here this is a double light switch I like to feel to make sure that there is no stickiness or any defect in it that way. Uh, interesting how it has a little move there, but overall, what do you think of the colors? What do you... It's not see-through, so that's nice. So if you have it on a wall, though probably could have used more um, blue in it, but we were running out of colors, and so... This one just needs to be cleaned up a little bit on the sides and stuff. But what do you think? Let's move that back there. Move all these against the white background so then you can really see the difference in colors. Give me a second here. We'll do, we'll do one at a time. 
We'll say that's the first one. Okay. Here's this one. Nice white background so you can see it better. Here's a light switch. I mean, this one I think that's my personal favorite. The light switch um, is mine. And then there's this one. Let us know down in the comments below if you like this, if you would like to see more or, or different color variations. I will try to be doing more of these just for my personal sake. But if you if you see a color or something that you uh, would like to see in a different combination, um, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see the mixing process or that, let me know as well. Um, I can do a, a better tutorial of that. Since in this one, we didn't really show the mixing of the resin. Um, all we did was already have the pre-resin ready. I will in another episode, um, maybe maybe in a short, I will uh, have them trimmed and clean and I'll do a flip with these. Thanks for watching. Stay crafting. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe or maybe check out the video over here.